Hello, NAPO. I'm Mindy Gotting, your president, and this is one of our final president's messages for the year of 2024. It's been quite the year. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited to welcome my guest today. Um, we have Tequila Combs. She's the president of NABPO, the National Association of Black Professional Organizers. And she is here today because, for those of you who might not have heard, uh, NABPO is the latest affiliate with NAPO, and so we're super excited to have Tequila and her organization as a part of our community. Welcome, Tequila. We're so glad to have you here. I'm so glad to be here. I'm super excited about this um, partnership, and uh, I'm super excited to speak on today. Yes. Okay. So um, why don't you, before you and I get started and talking about NABPO and NAPO, tell us a little bit about you and your business and what you're doing in the profession. Yes. So as she said, my name is Tequila Renee. The name of my biz. Oh, my name is Tequila Combs. Uh, I do go by Tequila Renee. Sorry. <laughs> However, my business name is Extreme Audacity Organized Solution, and uh, I am a professional organizer here in the Charlotte metro area. Uh, I started my business, I'll have my eight-year anniversary in January 2025, so I'm super excited about that. Congratulations. Eight. Thank you. Eight is the number of new beginnings, so I'm excited to start this new journey because it feels really new to me. Um, I am just on a journey to change lives through organization, and um, and that is through uh, organization as a profession and as president of uh, NAPO. And so I am just looking to uh, make a difference. Fabulous. Okay, so we're gl so glad you're here with us today. Um, so give us a little, for those who don't know much about NAPO, give us a little background how and why was NAPO originally formed? So NAPO, so uh, to even go back a little bit further, in 2015, Naima Ford Goldson, um, one of the amazing human beings that's on our executive board, um, she started a group uh, for um, uh, ladies of color that wanted to start a professional organizing business or that already had a professional organizing business. And she, she started a Facebook group. And in that Facebook group, uh, there was support, there was, um, you know, camaraderie and things like that, because we found that there was lack of support in some of the other Facebook groups that were, we were in. Uh, and just a little funny and um, kind of not so funny story, but it, it's interesting, I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. When I was in one of the other Facebook groups, I started my business in 2017. So she started this group in 2015. And so I was in the one of the other Facebook groups asking questions and totally getting ignored. My questions weren't being answered. And so Naima sent me a message on the back end and she was like, hey, come join this group over here. Uh, it's for black women, women of color, and you'll get more support and get your questions answered a lot faster. And so I did. And so to fast forward, 2000, uh, well, that was in 2017 when she did mm -hmm. that for me. That same year is when she gathered a bunch of ladies in um, Atlanta, in the Atlanta area, and that was in that group. And they got together and had great camaraderie. Uh, they were like-minded, and they were the ladies that started this organization. And I will say that I was one of the first members to join the group, the, uh, 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 Na uh, NAPO. I was one of the first women to join. Um, and so... Um, I'm sorry, Napo. I was one of the first women to join. And so it was uh, very exciting. It was only a few of us. And we uh, started supporting each other and learning more about the industry and how we could grow as individuals. And so that's kind of how it started. And it's been uphill from there. We only had a few ladies before. And then the pandemic hit and uh, mm -hmm. we, got, we got hit. So oh we went from like, seven women to like a hundred women in months. It was so crazy and it grew so fast and it was just so much support. And um, I just love to see the growth and it's just been growing from there. And so building community, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah. Yes. yeah. So uh, tell us what is unique about how NABPO serves its members? 
So what's unique about it is that um, it's a place, it feels safe. It feels like you can speak your mind. It feels like you can ask questions and get your questions answered. It feels like you're in a, a space of like-minded people. And um, it's just, it, it begins to feel like family. Like the more you're in it, the more you're apart, the more you feel like family, the more you grow, learn, and develop. And it's not just about like the organization. For me, I've taken it as my own and started to like give input. Even before I became president, I was like really sold on it. And so for me, that's what's unique about it and so important to me. Nice. Okay. And explain NABPO's allies program. Um, so the allies program, uh, is, it's for non, uh, it's for people that are not of color. So BIPOC people. Okay. So that can be, you know, a plethora of things. So, um, it allows, so what happened was when we started growing, we started getting people that were not of color asking, how can we be a support? How can we uh, be a part of this, not even just support, but how can we be a part of it? And so we started to have to figure out, well, how can we allow them to support us? How can we allow uh, them to be a part of the organization? And so then that's when we came up with the Allies program. And we have meetings for our allies uh, where it's not just them, it's, um, it's everybody in the organization com come to the meeting. And then we also have meetings where um, in those, inside of those meetings, we have um, meetings for DEI, um, diversity and inclusion. And it's not just a, a, about a race things. So we have our DEI meetings are about uh, it could be about disabilities. It could be about anything, you know, it's just not about race. It's about us coming together as people and uh, supporting each other and, you know, you know, helping each other along the way, because it's not easy being an entrepreneur. It's not easy being mm -hmm. self-employed. It's not easy. Um, you don't want to feel alone. And so having that community on one way or the other, the support is so important. And that's, I think I answered your question and I answered another question too, but <laughs> yeah, that's great. No, it's like, you know, building the, the through way in, in which we can communicate, right. And building a safe space in the community to help people connect and to help people learn together and support each other. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it's for. Um, and you know, it's important because we don't know what we don't know. And so it allows us to learn about each other. It allows us to learn new things. You get to learn about, uh, because even in, um, even in the organization, it's not just black people in the organization, right? We have all different races inside of the organization. And so you get to learn so much about each other, about community, um, and how you can be a support of each other in that community. That is wonderful. Okay. So tell, I mean, I can just imagine, but, um, tell us how NAPO has helped your business grow. So I would say that, um, NAPO helped my business grow by helping me grow. Um, when I tell you this organization has so many amazing women that are so intelligent, um, that are business savvy, uh, that I am learning from, that I love, I support. We talk to, uh, we talk to each other offline about uh, personal things and just growth. And if I'm having issues in my business, I can talk to them. So it's, it, you can find mentors, you can find um, people that will help you in your own business. And it also has helped my business because we have um, on our website, you can find professional organizers in your area. So I, a lot of my clients come from that Google search looking for a black professional organizer. Then uh, NAPO comes up and then they find me in the Charlotte metro area. And then that's how I get found. So I get a lot of business 
from the organization too. So it's helping me to grow. And then it's also helping my business to grow simultaneously. So what has excited you about this new partnership between NAPO and NABPO? What has excited me? Um, I think that the most exciting thing is that uh, for one, it's going to expose a lot uh, to people. So uh, people that are in NAPO don't know about NAPO. People that are in NAPO don't know about NAPO. They're, you know, so it's going to expose that. It's going to bring the light to that. And then it also gives uh, a lot of people that can't afford the full price of uh, NAPO. It's going to give them an opportunity to take advantage of that discount and get those resources that are that NAPO have to offer that NAPO doesn't have. And then NAPO can take uh, the, the people at NAPO can take advantage of the resources and discounts that we have available. So it's just uh, a collective support for each other. So that's what I'm most excited about. Um, everybody like supporting each other and then you can come from one side to the other and it's like you know all the support that you need <laughs> well i've been i mean there have been discussions going on behind the scenes with members of your leadership team naima dina um, and me and Jalene, our executive director for you know over a year and it's so cool to now see everything come together and, and see it to fruition because there is such great opportunity with us expanding our community and bringing these two communities together. Yeah. Um, you know, having a, a bigger party and having more people come in. Yeah. Um, and as Tequila mentioned, so there are incentives to join both organizations in the form of discounted membership rates. So definitely check that out if you haven't already looked into membership with one organization or the other. Um, there is, you know, uh, there are plenty of opportunities to get involved. Um, and, uh, I encourage all of you to meet Tequila when she joins us in Chicago at NAPO 2025 in March. So you'll see her there. I'll <laughs> be there. Hopefully a lot of NAPO members, a lot of dual members, um, will be joining us for NAPO 2025. So, um, Tequila, is there anything else you want you can share with us about like how do we find more information about NABPO and um, how would we look into it? So NAPO is uh, found on all social media platforms as uh, NAPO, um, N-A-B-P-O. Um, and you can also type in the National Association of Black Professional Organizers. Uh, we have a website that is um, NAPO, N-A-B-P-O dot org. So you can also go there and find us on there. Excellent. And on NAPO side, if you are on the NAPO website, napo.net, you can go under resources to our affiliates page. And there is a link to directly to NAPO there and it will go right to their website as well. So um, Tequila, thank you so much for joining me today to talk about this great, exciting new partnership. I can't wait to see you in Chicago, um, and I look forward to seeing what these two organizations can do and accomplish together. Yes, I'm excited to meet you in person, and yes, I'm so excited about the, the, um, the relationship. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So that's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much and have a great end to your year.